And hey, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. You should be super proud to come to class on a Monday. It always seems like Mondays are so, so long. And I want to let you know that you should be proud of yourself for coming today and taking the challenge for today's total body workout. I promise you're going to get that shot of endorphins you need for a Monday. We're going to move continuously for 30 minutes, working upper and lower body at the same time. So you'll be using your core for each exercise to stabilize the upper and lower body. We're going to start with a warm up and then we're going to begin our class. So let's get started. Just a reminder about form you want to roll those shoulders back and down. Throughout the workout, we want a nice, tall spine, flat back. We want to make sure that you breathe throughout class. So on the inhale, soften the abs. On the exhale, pull the abs in. And then smile, so I know you guys are having fun. So you'll need one kettlebell or dumbbell. I'm using a 15-pound kettlebell. So I recommend that if you've had less than five classes, pick up a 10-pounder and then work your way up to 15 after 10 classes. So let's start with a warm up in a squat position, feet hip width apart. Go ahead and draw the hips back, inhale, exhale, squeeze the glutes, reach back with the fingertips, flex the triceps. Inhale, draw the hips back, bend the knees, exhale, reach back. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. In a squat position, you want to make sure that you're drawing the weight into the heels. So when you look below you, you should see your toes. You don't want to overextend those knees over your toes. Keep going. Let's come on to our tippy toes to warm up the ankles and the knees. Inhale. Exhale, come on to your tippy toes. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep going, team. We want to make sure we have maximum muscle contraction so you get a super efficient workout. Three, two, and one. Coming into reverse lunge, I'll go on profile. Go ahead and step the right leg back, drop the hips. Left leg back, drop the hips. And then extend the arms, inhale, exhale. Squeeze the glutes as you come back to neutral position. Shoulder blades back and down. Opening up those hip flexors. Warming up the quads, hamstrings. Three, two, one. Opposite toe touch. Right fingertips touch the left toes. Left fingertips touch the right toes. Rotate those arms. Lift the legs using your abs to lift, lift, lift. Exhale as you lift. Pull your abs in as you lift. Lift. Three, two, one. Last warm up. Make a T with the arms. Wide stance, toes point forward. Right fingertips, bend the left knee, touch the left toes. Left fingertips, touch the right toes. We're just going to twist. As we exhale, twist, twist from the abs, look forward to keep that chest open, twist. Weight is in the heels for three, two, one. All right, team, we're gonna get started. I want you to make sure you guys know what active recovery is. So between each exercise, go ahead and either 
rope it out, jog it out. You could do side crunch. You could do knee, opposite knees to elbow, whatever you can do to keep that heart rate going. Okay, so grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna put my kettlebell gloves on. I wanted to show you guys these gloves you guys can get so that you have a nice, easy grip. So we're gonna come into wider hip width stance. We're gonna do lateral lunges. So take a narrow grip with your kettlebell. We're going to go ahead and lunge to the left, tap the kettlebell on the earth next to the left toes, Row it up, squeeze everything, elbows point to the sky, tap it to the left toes, side lateral lunge, row. So we're just lateral, lateral lunge to the left and right, alternating, inhale, tap it, exhale, row. So the weight is in this heels, so it's a lunge. Okay, as we inhale, we lower, keeping that chest nice and open. Inhale, exhale. So we're just moving from side to side, team. Pay attention to your low back. You wanna draw the hip back and then bend the knee, making sure the weight is in the heel. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze everything at the top, the glutes, the abs, pull in as you exhale. Exhale, three, two, one. Okay, team, some quick cardio burst. I'm gonna go on profile, draw that left knee back. You're going to inhale here, exhale, crunch that left knee to chest, bring it back, crunch. Hop on that right foot. Use your abs to crunch that knee to the chest. Three, two, one, other side. Right leg back, go ahead, inhale here. Exhale, use your abs to crunch, crunch. Shoulders back and down. Three, Two, one. Good job, team. Bend the knee. Go ahead and tap it out. Whatever feels good. Moving on to the next exercise. Starfish. Come into a plie position. So wider than hip width stance. Toes point towards the corner of the room. Bend the knee. Now press those knees back. This is a plie position, knees track in line with the toes. Inhale, lower. Exhale, we're gonna make a diagonal to the right. Please, plie, alternate side. So lengthen and squeeze at the top. Exhale. Make a beautiful star. Lengthen and squeeze. Three, two, 
three, two, one. Stay in a plie. Take a narrow grip with the kettlebell. Come low, shoulders back and down, knees press back, and just pulse here. Pulse. Bring your awareness to your glutes. Make sure your glutes are pulsing up and down. Can you get a little lower? Can you get onto your tippy toes for more of a challenge? So heels off the mat. Keep pulsing. Okay, team. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Go ahead and bend the knees. Come into your active recovery. Keep moving. Curtsy row. Okay, so. I'm going to take the kettlebell in the left hand, so I'm mirroring you. Go ahead and take that right knee, I'm sorry, left knee, and bring it outside the right angle so you're in a curtsy position. So we're going to drop that left knee low until we feel comfortable with that curtsy. Inhale, exhale, row it. Press into that right foot to come back to center, okay? So come into your curtsy, row it, extend, come back into center. So try to get that left knee low. Notice that my hips stay face forward. So you don't want to turn out. Press into that front right foot to power you back up to center. Can you give me three more? You should feel it in your side seat here. Good job. We're gonna come back into our curtsy here. Take a bell grip with your kettlebell at the chest, and we're just gonna pulse, pulse. Pulse in this curtsy, get low. Woo, okay, other side. So we're gonna take the kettlebell in the right hand, right knee comes behind you, behind that left ankle, drop into a curtsy, as low as you can go here. Inhale, exhale, press into that left foot, come back to center. Curtsy, back to center. So my right knee is super low and my left foot powers up. As I row that kettlebell in my right hand, I'm pulling my abs in. Three more. Last one. Woo. We're gonna come back into a curtsy. Get low, guys. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Woo. 
Good job, shake it out. Bend the knee, place the kettlebell down. Active recovery time. Okay, team. One arm diagonal press. This is a power move. Kettlebell in the left hand. We're gonna go ahead and come into a squat inhale. Exhale, diagonal press, pivot, facing the right hand side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, squeeze, make a diagonal press. Three more, squat, press, squat, press. Last one, woo, other side. Right hand out. Go ahead and give me a squat. Diagonal press to the left. Kettle on the right hand. Diagonal press to the left. Pivot, squeeze. Can you get lower in that squat? Use that momentum to power that kettlebell. Three, two, one. All right, team. We're going to take the kettlebell. Go ahead and take that left knee. Make a diagonal like you did with that press. Inhale, exhale, bring that right elbow, crunch that left knee, crunch. Ab work here. Two, one. All right, right leg diagonal, left elbow, all in the abs here, twist from the abs, three, two, one, bend, tap it out again, whatever feels good, keep going, keep moving, Okay, team, we're doing a split squat, reverse chop. So I'm gonna go on profile. We're gonna bring that left leg back, right leg forward. Come into a lunge position. We're gonna inhale, bring the kettlebell down to the right hip, bring the left knee down into a split squat. That's the inhale, exhale, unbend both knees, bring the cowbell to the left shoulder. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, hips face forward. Three more, three, two, one. Bring the kettle on the right hand, bend the left knee, hips move forward. We're just gonna thread that kettle under the right thigh and pulse.
Good job, switch sides. So this time, the right leg's back, kettlebell at the left hip, bend the right knee, inhale here, exhale, unbend both knees. So I'll go here so you can see. Notice how the kettlebell is now on my right shoulder. Unbend both knees. Keep going. Three more. All right. Kettlebell on the left hand, bend the right knee, hips move forward, thread that kettlebell under the left thigh and pulse. Two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Bend the knees, and tap it out, whatever feels good. Could do jumping jacks, jog, just keep moving. Okay, team, we're going to do squat catch. So grab your kettlebell by the horns. Okay, we're just going to come into a goblet squat. So toes point towards the corner of the room. Go ahead and draw the hips back, then bend the knees. Flat back here, go as far as you can. Inhale, bring the kettlebell down, tap the kettlebell, catch the kettlebell at the chest, overhead press. Bring it back to the chest, tap the kettlebell down, catch it, overhead press. So it's a double squat, we're squatting, and then squatting again. Weight is in the heels. My black, my back is flat. Drawing the hips back, then bending the knees. Inhale. You can go fast, slow. It's your time here. Master the form first. Speed is less important. Two more. Squeeze, pull the abs in at the top. Good job. Now, coming into downhill skier, feet hip width apart. Imagine you're sitting in a chair. Go ahead and drop your hips, weight in the heels, tuck under slightly, chest open, low. Now bounce, pulse. Keep breathing. Shoulder blades back and down. Can you get lower? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Squat, tap it out. Moving on to gunslinger. Second to last exercise, then we move to the ground. Okay, team, kettlebell on the left hand. Strong core here. We're gonna inhale here. Exhale, use your core to catch that kettlebell with the right hand. Inhale, imagine you have a gun and it's in its holster. Exhale, use your abs to swing it and catch it. Let's go. Squeeze. 
So you can tuck under slightly to make sure your torso remains stable. Give me three more. We're gonna do the other side and then we're gonna put it together, okay? So there's a method to this madness. Same idea, bend the knee slightly, tuck under slightly, grip those glutes, inhale. Use your abs here. Shoulder blades back and down. Soften, squeeze. Soften, squeeze. I'm hugging everything as I swing that kettlebell to my left hand. Three. Two and one. Okay, team, we're going to put that together. Kettlebell in the right hand, come into a squat position. Thread that kettlebell under the left thigh. Grab it, swing that kettlebell, twist. Come back to center. Kettlebell in the left hand, thread it under the right thigh, catch it with the right hand, swing it, twist to the left. So we're just threading, catching, twisting. Threading, catching, twisting. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, and one. Okay, place the kettlebell down, tap it out. Go ahead and come to the earth. Okay, team. Doing some Ab core work here. We're going to come into a sit up position, kettlebell at the chest. Feet are planted on the earth. Knees are bent, tuck under. You want the lower back pressing into the mat, so tuck under, grip the glutes. That'll help you engage the abs. Inhale here, gripping those glutes. Exhale, use your abs to lift up and then slowly lower down. Punch up. So we're working the abs by gripping the glutes, tucking under. Remember to press that low back into the mat. Grip, press. You're working your abs to lift you up. And then the kettlebell presses up two. And one. Okay, team. Go ahead and lift the kettlebell up. Lift the glutes up. Coming into bridge pose. So really lift those hips up. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to bend that kettlebell into a tricep. Okay, so that's the inhale. Lower the hips now. Now that you know the position, we're going to exhale, lift the kettlebell, lift the hips. Neck, I mean chin off the chest. Elbows tug in lower, up. Lower the kettlebell, lower the hips. Press up the hips, press up the kettlebell. 
Soften your neck, elbows hug in. Last one, stay right there, hips up. We're just going to tuck, tuck, tuck. Come onto your heels and tuck, tuck. Make a wide B, tuck, tuck. Just gonna tuck here. Woo, keep tucking. Work those glutes, ladies and gentlemen. The farther you have your feet away, the more of a challenge. Hang in there, keep breathing. Give me 10 more tucks. Three, two, one. Woo! Go ahead and roll over, place the kettlebell down. You have one more exercise and then you're done. All right, last exercise. Shoulders back and down. We're gonna come into a deadlift. So go ahead and lead with the chest, soften the knees, place the kettlebell down, bring the hands onto the mat, come into a bear crawl, kick to the left, kick to the right, hop back into a squat position, lift the kettlebell, come into your deadlift. Bear crawl, kick, kick, keep going. Now, if you rather do burpees, go ahead and give me 12 burpees. Your choice, as long as you're challenged. So I'm leading with the chest, weight is in the heels for my deadlift. So we're halfway. You're on the home stretch here, team. This is our last exercise. So this is all core work. As we kick through, make sure you're mindful of your lower back, hug your core in, kick through, kick through. Two more. Last one. Good job, team. We're gonna do a quick cool down, tap it out. Good job, quick cool down, and then you guys are ready to go. Grab a hold of your kettlebell, take a bell grip. Wide stance, shoulders back and down. Go ahead and melt the heart forward, forward forward and then release the head and the neck. Shift the weight into the balls of the feet. Move from side to side. Releasing the lower back, hamstrings. Woo. Kettlebell on the mat. Bend the right, bend the left knee, bring the kettlebell inside the arch of the left foot. Open your chest and breathe. Go ahead and switch sides. All right, so we're going to place the kettlebell aside. We don't need it anymore. 
Go ahead and bring the right leg back. Give me a high lunge position. So the back, right heel presses back. The top of the back thigh lifts up. Bend the front left knee. Soften the shoulders. Whew. Now bring the left hand down. Look up. Bend to the left. Come back to the neutral position, bring the back foot up, square the hips, interlace the fingers behind you, inhale, exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, melt the heart forward, 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 knuckles point up towards the sky, ease that left hip back so your hips are square, fingertips to the earth, breathe into the hamstring, shake the head, Let's do the other side. Left leg back, front right knee, 90 degrees. Right hand down, look up, bend to the right. Bring the back foot up about a foot. Square your hips. Bring the arms forward this time. And then go ahead and melt the heart forward, forward, forward. Release the head and the neck. Shake it out. And then slowly rise. Good job, team. If you have any questions, good job, Sydney and Tia and everyone else who joined. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you guys.